26 Russian toy facts every owner should know. Number 1. The Russian toy, also known as the Ruski toy, is one of the smallest dog breeds in the world, typically standing at 8 to 10 inches tall for both males and females. These toy dogs usually weigh around 6.5 pounds and might be confused with chihuahuas, even though they are not closely related. Number 2. The charm of the Ruski toys stems from their lively and clever expressions, marked by their alert eyes, perky ears, and distinctive facial features. Their large round eyes, well spaced on the head, enhance their engaging appearance, making the breed look alert and endearing. Number 3. Easily distinguishable by their distinctive ears, Russian toy dogs sport large, thin ears positioned high on their heads. These ears stand upright, wider at the base, and tapering to a triangular shape. Despite the possibility of long-haired dogs having semi-pricked ears with heavier fringes, it's considered undesirable by the AKC. Number 4. These guys come in two coat styles, one with short, shiny hair that hogs their bodies without any patches or undercoat, and the other with moderately long, straight, or slightly wavy hair that showcases their body shape without covering it up. The hair on their heads and front limbs stay short and close. Number 5. The breed's beautiful coat showcases various colorings like black and tan, chocolate and tan, blue and tan, red, red sable, or red brown. However, in the eyes of the AKC, any white spots on the head, abdomen, or above the metacarpus, as well as tan markings that are overly large or with dark shadings, are considered false. Number 6. As per the American Kennel Club standard, Russian toy dogs may face disqualification from confirmation shows if they exceed 12 inches or fall below 7 inches in height, weigh less than 2 pounds, have drooping ears, show brindle markings, or have misaligned teeth. Long-haired Ruskies are also subject to disqualification if they lack ear fringes or have curly hair. Number 7. These intelligent pups are quick learners, excelling in obedience and agility skills. Surprisingly sharp and responsive despite their small size, they are eager to please and they make excellent training partners, mastering new tricks and techniques in no time. Number 8. Ruski toys can occasionally display stubborn behavior. Similar to numerous small breeds, they possess a strong will and independence that might be mistaken for stubbornness. At times, they might outright ignore commands if they're not in the mood, emphasizing the importance of patience when handling this breed. Number 9. Originally bred for rat hunting, these dogs have a strong inclination to chase anything they consider prey, particularly small animals like squirrels, birds, and even cats. They tend to pursue their prey without considering their surroundings, so it's very important to keep them on a leash to prevent potential accidents. Number 10. The Russian Toy is a small breed not known for traditional guard dog duties. However, they make great watchdogs ever so vigilant and wary of strangers, barking at them to let their owner know what's up. Their stature may be small, but they won't hesitate to make their presence known through barking. Number 11. Similar to many small dogs, the Ruski may exhibit hints of small dog syndrome, where they tend to become overly dominant. Some individuals might attempt to initiate conflicts with dogs much larger than their size, while others may challenge their owner's authority. This is why obedience training is crucial for this breed. Number 12. As a robust breed, the Russian toy boasts an average lifespan of 10 to 12 years. Yet some of these guys can live beyond this with proper care, a balanced diet, and routine veterinary checkups. Factors like genetics, environment, diet, exercise, and overall healthcare can significantly impact their longevity. Number 13. While generally robust, these small pups, like any breed, can be susceptible to specific health concerns. Common issues seen in the breed include hip dysplasia, patellar luxation, bone fractures, progressive retinal atrophy, hypoglycemia, and leg calf protease disease. Number 14. These dogs often need a vet's help to remove retained deciduous teeth, commonly known as puppy teeth, if they don't naturally fall out to make space for permanent teeth. Without this procedure, both sets of teeth can occupy the same jaw socket, leading to issues like tartar deposits, gingivitis, periodontitis, premature tooth loss, and teeth misalignment. Number 15. Due to their small size, Ruski toys have a limited body surface area, making them susceptible to freezing and hypothermia in cold environments. It's essential to dress them in sweaters during cold weather and ensure they stay warm indoors on chilly days. Number 16. Evidence of English-style terriers in Russia can be found in the Museum of Zoology in St. Petersburg, featuring an English toy terrier dated from 1716 to 1726 named Lizetta, who was personally owned by the Russian Emperor Peter the Great. These terriers were bred as companions for Russian nobility, and the risky toy is believed to have descended from these English-type terriers. 
Number 17. In addition to being cherished companion dogs for Russian aristocracy, this breed showcased its hunting prowess by adeptly chasing rats and other pets. They also served diligently as vigilant watchdogs, ever ready to alert their owners to any potential issues. Number 18. By the early 20th century, the numbers of these toy dogs had surged, turning the breed from a rare find into a symbol of prestige. As a result, the breed was no longer recognized as the English toy terrier. In Russia, it became commonly known as the Russian or Ruski toy terrier. Number 19. The breed neared extinction because the breeding stopped during the Russian Revolution in 1917. After the Stalin's death, efforts throughout various parts of the Soviet Union focused on resurrecting these dogs, resulting in a revived breed that significantly differed in appearance from the original Ruski Toy Terrier. Number 20. Originally, Ruski Toy Terriers had short hair, but in 1958, breeder Yevgenia Fominichna Zarova saw the long coated variety. Zarova paired her dog Chicky with his unique longer coat and a fringe with Arma, another Russian toy. This pairing resulted in three long-coated puppies, marking the emergence of the Moscow long-haired toy terrier, known today as the long coat variety of the Russian toy, which features longer coats and distinctive fringes on ears, tails, and legs. Number 21. The breed's first official standard was set in 1966 and was quickly authorized by the Ministry of Agriculture in Russia. In the 1980s, a revised breed standard categorized the Moscow long-haired toy terrier and the Russian toy terrier as two varieties of a single breed. However, it wasn't until 2006 that the Russian toy received provisional recognition from the FCI, attaining definitive recognition in 2017. Number 22. The Russian toy used to be called the Russian Toy Terrier until 2006, when they dropped the Terrier from the name after being recognized by the Federation Sinologic International. Number 23. Initially limited to Russia, the popularity of Russian toy dogs spread beyond borders as interest grew in other countries. Finland was among the first to commence breeding them outside of Russia starting in the late 1980s. Currently, kennels in Finland, Estonia, Belarus, Ukraine, and the Czech Republic are dedicated to breeding and promoting the breed. Number 24. The Russian toy gained recognition from the American Kennel Club's Foundation Stock Service in 2008. By 2010, it was eligible to compete in AKC Companion events. Several clubs, such as the Russian Toy Club of America and the Russian Toy Dog Club of America, were established to advocate for the breed's interest in both the AKC and the UKC. Number 25. As a well-regarded breed globally, the Risky has garnered moderate popularity in the United States, securing the 144th position out of 199 registered breeds in the AKC's 2022 list of most popular dog breeds determined by nationwide registrations. Number 26. These dogs are quite rare to find in the United States. If you're aiming to acquire a pup from a reputable breeder, be prepared to budget anywhere from $800 to $2,500 or even more. Due to their scarcity, many prospective owners might also find themselves placed on a waiting list when seeking one of these pups. Alright guys, now which of these Russian toy facts intrigued you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.